hear the mother. Joe, she's hungry. What do you want, Albert? I want her in the house. I'm building her a house. Look at yourself. Think your wife is coming home? She is. For Lois's birthday, I'm giving a surprise party. Ellen said she was coming. Mm-hmm. You need someone to look after you. Kind of cake. The kind you made for Lois's wedding. I like the taste. Lemon and almonds. It's expensive, you know. How much was it for the wedding? Oh, the wedding cake was a gift. This could be your gift to Lois. No, 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 no way, Elsie. Did you say July fifth? Yeah. How much? For you, twenty-five bucks. I'll make it myself. Almost done, Elsie. Hey. Thanks, Elsie. I'll come by when I'm done here, OK? Hey, 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 hey. Two more loads. Sarah. So do. Did you talk to her? About the tab. It's over 200 bucks. Talk to Albert. I don't think it's Lois's birthday, you know. Why does she want a cake? You know Elsie's throwing a birthday party for Lois? It's not her birthday. Elsie said... Hey, did you talk to the minister? The deputy minister. Yeah. So why did I waste three hours filling this out? It's not you, TV. They cut the whole band manager training program. For now. For this year. What? I didn't cancel the damn program. Look, you know, I could have had that job last year when it was a job. You made sure I didn't. Man, I could have been set up now. Sucking on that government teeth like you. Like him. TV. TV. We need some wood cut for the elders. It's not much. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. I'm sorry, all right? How many times do you have to hear it? I'll let you know. Hey, Elsie. Well, he's gonna cut some wood. It's 50 bucks. Chopping wood's for boys. He should have a real job. You look after him. Oh, uh, Jerry mentioned something about a cake. Give him $10. What's it for? Lois's birthday. Oh. 
Smoke's turn. I thought Albert was going to build you a house. I'm going to build me a house. You know what a house costs? Well, not a real house, not yet. For now, I just need floors, see? half walls, like Joe's. Sarah, you're talking a lot of money here. For what? Wood. Well, I'll get my own wood. But you gotta mill it, make it in the boards. The guy I know in Simpson has a portable mill. It's a portable mill? A mill on wheels. You can move it anywhere. License to print money. So why don't you buy one? You got 30,000 bucks? If you pay for the wood, I can knock it together for you. But, Leon, okay, I'll cut aboard your chainsaw. Um, Sarah, how are you gonna pay for this? Albert. It's the one thing he still does for us. Right? Not anymore. She doesn't want my help, he said. So the bill comes to 200 and um, we'll, we'll, we'll round it off. Albert. Albert, you owe us. You want me to pay your bills, you start taking care of my daughter. You don't even care about your daughter, Albert. You just want to slap your woman into line. I don't care about you, sir. You don't belong here. I only care about my daughter. What? Did you say something, do something? I told him I was going to build my own house. So he yanked my chain. Well, I know the law and he can't do it. You were never legally separated. Technically, he's not obliged to pay support. We were a common law couple. Elizabeth has his name. I mean, if that's not enough. He never wants to see her again. You think he hasn't thought about all this? You know what? I don't care. Because I'm tired of reading all the entrails. If he doesn't pay support, he has no claim to Elizabeth, period. And what'll you do for money? Welfare. Sarah. Well, why not if I have to? You know, I know exactly what he wants. All I gotta do is kiss the ring and he'll build the palace. Well, I will not. Ever. Just take it. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, eh? So we're supposed to bring presents or something? For your old lady's birthday? She looks pretty good for 40. Hello? What are you staring at? Uh, it's called a pot scrubber. It's for scrubbing pots. Which you might want to do. I mean, if you ever decide to cook with them. Hire me, I'll cook and clean. That timber on the plateau, whose is it? That is crown land. It's band land. The whole plateau. So if I want to cut that wood? Then you need a timber license from Renewable Resources. It's banned land. You approach the band council and we issue you a permit. It's crown land, Peter. You need the license, then there's a cutting charge, reforestation fee. Why? That's a lot of lumber. Lumber? I smell a llama farm. Shut up, Jerry. What do you mean? A portable sawmill. Or is it a tannery? 
Look, how much does it cost to bring in wood from Simpson or Edmonton? We mill the wood right here. It costs half as much to build a house and no government bullshit. We just do it. How much does the mill cost? 30000 Uh-huh. ABP? What? Aboriginal business program. Even if it was banned land, which it is not legally, but even if it was, the ABP only covers 30%, which means the band would have to get involved. We're already in debt. talking about getting a lawyer, taking you to court. If you lose... I think I'll lose. You might. She's as angry as you, just as stubborn. If you care about Elizabeth... Do you care about Constable? Going to court would be the worst thing. I don't want to go to court. I just want to build her a house. She won't let me. No, no, not like that. Why? I always do it like this. Look, what's wrong with that? It should be pink beads, not blue. You can get some at the store. It's her present. It's very nice. Keep her away from me. I need to get it finished. It's a funny thing, you know. TV said... Said what? Well, I mean, he must have said something to you, huh? You know, about her birthday, the date and everything. Uh, we're going berry picking. Tell Sarah. Mm-hmm. She's coming. So what? She won't know what it's for. What if she asks? A lie. She's driving me crazy. She's getting worse. Everything's getting worse. Listen to this. My horoscope. Pisces, a good friend is about to betray you. Don't trust anyone. Don't tense up over a misunderstanding. Is that me? Yeah. Well, Cancer, right? Libra. October. I told you. You sure? Of course I'm sure. It's my birthday. The LT40, 29,700 with the blade maintenance package. 2,000 more for shipping. 500 more, they sent a guy with the mill to show you how it works. Hmm. Did you talk to ABP yet? Yeah, they want to see a proposal and some private money. I'm going to talk to Rosie. Who buys the lumber? I can haul that thing anywhere, once the ice is in. What about the rest of the year? What if the road to Simpson goes through? What if it doesn't? Anyway, that, that isn't what they mean. So what they want is a specific proposal. You know, uh, uh, a housing project, a band hall, a factory, something. Do you understand? Why is Jerry baking me a birthday cake? It's not my birthday. Elsie says it is. But it's not. I know that. Everyone knows that. Look, the truth is... Elsie's memory, it's not quite what it was. There's nothing wrong with her memory. She's doing it to drive me crazy. Ma, 
She just wants to have a party. Look at you. Hi, Daddy. Mwah. Yeah, recognize this guy? Thank you. You're welcome. Cleaning was never your thing. Neither was cooking. What do you expect? You've never lived on your own before. Mm, I'm impressed. It's for supper tonight. I'll stamp Michelle's. It's the hair. That's what's different. It looks good. Thanks. Okay. Oh, good. Now you're only 120 short. Come on, Jared. It's all I got. Take your things. Thanks. I'll be getting some soon, okay? Job? Welfare. Who are you? Bruce. Pilot? Mm-hmm. Flew the chief's wife in. It's a big uh, feast here or something. Mm-hmm. Can I, uh, buy you a coffee? Lunch? Sure. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Andrew's in Calgary? Yeah, he's trying to sell his condo. He'll be back soon. Oh. You look good. Oh, thanks. It's there. <laughs> Even Peter noticed. <laughs> How is he? I don't know. He's been keeping to himself. House looks clean. He spent all morning cleaning. <laughs> so, birthday party. Maybe she set the whole thing up just to get me here. We're worried about her memory. She hasn't been herself lately. Constable Kennedy? Yes? I'm Sandra Farrell from Social Services. I'm looking for Sarah Burkett. You built this yourself? Yeah. Just a little hunting cabin. One room? Mm-hmm. Insulated? <laughs> no. Wood stove. Nice and cozy, even in January. Logs or boards? Boards. Two by six? Yeah. How much? <laughs> Under five grand. Really? That's not good. Sarah, this is Miss Farrell from Social Services. Is this about the welfare already? Could I talk to you alone for a moment, please? About what? About Elizabeth, please. If you wouldn't mind. Well, what about Elizabeth? A complaint has been filed that you have failed to provide the necessities for your daughter. I'm here to investigate the charge. No, she's not here. Uh, well, where the hell is she, Elsie? With Bertha and Carla. They went berry picking. I told you, didn't I? No, no, you didn't tell me. Bertha's a friend and Kyle's her daughter. She's with social services, Elsie. Albert's filed a complaint against me. I'm sure she's all right. Is 
this what you're looking for? Michelle, get me some money, so you won't have to worry about Elizabeth starving, Albert. I would never let Elizabeth starve or sleep in a wet tent when she didn't have to. Does Miss Farrell know, Albert, that you abandoned us before Elizabeth was born? And after? I had to make money, provide for my family. I thought you'd understand. I changed her. Oh, isn't he just the best father in the world? Three sons and only two in prison. He's changed their diapers too, Albert? Partners, I'd run the business so you can keep working here. But you've never done anything like this before. Yeah, but you've never owned a coffee shop before. I've worked in one. Fifteen thousand mm dollars? -hmm. I haven't got it. Rosie, you can borrow. The bank trusts you, and so do I. I should talk to Leon. He thinks it's all a hustle. The business is a craft. It takes years to learn. You want him to learn with your 15,000 bucks? So what exactly are you doing here, Miss Brickett? Exploring the culture? Having a wilderness adventure? I didn't tell you about the condo in Florida. Look, I didn't come north to rough it in the bush. I didn't plan any of this. But here I am, with my daughter, in my tent. Is there no one you can stay with? I'm not failing to provide the necessities. Sleeping. It's hard on him. How's your new boss? Good. He lets me do things my own way. Still talking about that Edmonton thing. Would you go? I can't make that decision alone. We have a child. Would you like to go? Maybe. It's not good for him to be away from you this much. He gets scared, bad dreams. It kills me not to see him every day. But this is better for us, at least for me. Are you sure? Aren't you? Oh, it's late. I'm tired. He's listening. He wants to stay. I'll take the coach. Oh, yeah, it'd be easy once you get your foundation down. You'd need about... Fifteen twenty-two by sixes for the floor. Walls up to uh, here. <laughs> Are walls easy? Yeah. Is that a yes? Bring my hammer next time I'm through. <clears throat> They're not going to take her away because of a leaky tent. You don't know Albert. Farrell's probably his cousin. Doesn't matter. You're the mother. You've never heard of Albert Gold. Not in Whitehorse. Huh. You want to do something in the morning? <laughs> like what? I'll take you flying. 
We can go over the plateau, look for fires. <laughs> you mean like have some fun? It's allowed now and then. Yeah. <laughs> You're on, pilot. All right. Yeah. I should go. Uh, unless, uh, I shouldn't. See you tomorrow. People live in tents. I was born in a tent. She wasn't. Fact is, the baby is being cared for. Because I pay her bills. Because you have to. Anyway, she's applying for welfare. I don't want them living on welfare. She can get money from me, anything she needs. All I want is for her to take better care of my daughter. Looks pretty easy. Not as easy as you think. You find your market is a good business. There's no market around here. Dog ribs are settling their land claims. Got all kinds of plans now and money to pay. They're building the fishing logs, putting in the road. Perfect for a portable mill. Then why aren't you in the business? Too old. It's young man's work. I need a private partner. You got too many partners already. <laughs> I need a partner with money. I know. When I walked in here today, I was sure you had a woman. Nope. There's no one else. New. You, your new boss, I hear he's single. Good looking. Oh, gorgeous. Sweet, fun, gay. <laughs> you were checking up on me. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? I don't know. You're supposed to have all the answers. Yeah, right. I don't have a clue. I never did. I know. You want something? Nice little planes. Safe. Of course, things can go wrong. Like that Cessna 206 crashed in a bush two months ago. Pilot killed. That wasn't the aircraft. Guy wasn't careful refueling. I heard the trouble started earlier. Somebody else's turf. Next thing you know, It was an accident. You think? You don't want to get caught in the middle of this.
No, I'm not going to take your baby away. But for God's sakes, be reasonable. The guy's offering money, a house, take it. We'll be fine when I get welfare. It won't be automatic. Why? Because he's willing to support you. A judge hears that, he's gonna think twice. Maybe you should talk to a lawyer. That son of a bitch. That's why he dragged you here. Excuse me? You just said it, so I can't get welfare. Look, I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship, but the sooner the two of you work this thing out, the better. Especially for Elizabeth. You don't work things out with Albert Golo. Are you leaving? Yes. Now? That's what the pilot said. Why? Was there something else? No. No. Nice date. I don't know what's going on between the two of you, but... Did he threaten you? Did he? Not exactly. What did he say? Oh. I can't do anything, you know that. Well, look what he's doing to me. Why can't anybody help me? I need a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Who do I call? Legal aid. What do you need? 20. And the APB will back you. 30%. Well, we can do this. We can't do it this year. <sighs> TV. Every penny we have is allocated. Housing and welfare were way over budget, but if we can wait a year, we can find a private partner and make this thing airtight. I have a private partner. Albert. Albert doesn't have partners, you know that. TV. We're gonna back you. We wanna make this thing happen, but you gotta wait. A year is nothing. I didn't know where you went. Would you promise her? Welcome home. Sorry. Mm. Sleep okay? Oh, yeah. Great. You? Great. It was great. Ellen. Good morning would have been nice. Breakfast, maybe? I didn't want to wake you. Which is it, Peter? Great. Or gotta go. See you later. It was great. For me, too. Look, we, uh... We've got to talk. I know. How did it go? Usual bullshit. I'll finance the whole deal. You run it. And if you do good, I'll give you a share. You and Nathan. Nathan? This is my lawyer. Yeah, I remember you. Who are you keeping, Mr. Tanya? How's the family? He'll set up a limited company and make a deal with Woodmiser. This is my company, my idea. My money. You think about it. See you at the party. Yeah. Excuse me, Miss Burkett. Remember me? Arthur Curtis, Albert's lawyer. What are you doing here? Fishing. Wolverine Lake. 
Oh, I'll bet you were. Albert gave me a call. Seeing as I was in the neighborhood, I thought I'd scoot on over. I, uh, understand you want a formal hearing. I just want you to be aware that we'll be insisting upon joint custody. This, more or less, lays it out. I presume you'll be getting a lawyer. Just have them call me. Everyone's waiting. This is crazy. Yes. Yeah, so? I can't do this. I can't pretend. What are you going to tell Elsie? Me? Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> they're coming, they're coming. Happy birthday! Surprise! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! This is from Rosie, Leon, and the kids. It's my sweater. Okay. And that's from Michelle. Andrew and Charlie. Oh. oh, you spent too much. Remember that when I turned 40. <laughs> it's not too complicated. A guy with a mill in Simpson, he's paid for it 10 times over. Land claim settlements, oil and gas, diamond play. The whole territory is opening up for business. The future is now, baby. And never mind what Peter Kennedy says. So what do you need me for? <laughs> you need an Indian. But I promise always to respect you. Yeah, right. Got a better offer? I got 15 grand to play with. I need 20. I know. How much? Five thousand. <laughs> you want to tell Lois? You go ahead. Go tell Lois. No, I'm not going to tell my mother. I'm going to tell Elsie and Peter. How you screwed the native boy out of a job to save your own sorry ass? Nice, Mr. Band Manager. This is the last time, my son. So? Partner! <laughs> you didn't offer him equity, did you? I did not offer him a thing. Have you seen your uncle Francis, my oldest child. He left a long time ago. Died down south somewhere. Today is his birthday. Everybody knew, didn't they? Well, so what? You asked them to come, so they came. They came because they respect you. It's 
get you back. We're not sure for how long. Oh, come on. Elsie has something to say? That's it? Thank you for coming. I hope you'll come back in October for Lois's 40th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> your hands on Elizabeth. I will not give in to you. Look at me. Never. Do you hear me? Never, Albert. Sarah should get out of here before he drives her crazy. She tried. She came back. Peter? I love you. Tell me you want me back and I'll stay. Why is he doing this? You hurt him. I'll never forgive you for that. You fight Albert, you fight him for a hundred years. This lifetime and the next. 